Hey everyone, how you doing? Okay, another Amiga shooter then, and this one, obviously, is intact. Sphinx Software. Uh, this might be their only release, I don't know. Where's that for a game cover? Quite different. Uh, yeah, this um, vertical squadron shooter, I'm not even sure how many levels, there's not a great deal of information around actually for this one. Uh, it has a bit of a difference to your, your typical vertical scroller. You shoot the ways of aliens and they leave behind credits. Blue, red and yellow credits, which are all worth one or two or three credits. Now when you've got your credits, you can, you can fly over a part of the land where there's power-ups and pick up the power if you want, if you've got enough credits. Here's the instructions there, not a great deal, and it tells you all the different weapons down here. A reverse fire, forward fire, free, shield, uh, fragmentation fire, I'll have to try and find that one one time, double fire strength and extra life, and so on, you know. Engine boosters is another one. I think that just speeds your craft up, so that's what it is, speed up basically. Uh, not too much to, else to say about this really, I'll probably say the rest in the game. Just show you the box and show you the back. There's a couple of the screens, uh, that must be level 3 or 4, that one over that side there. One or two player option, which is quite good. Uh, definitely increasing difficulty. Uh, music and sound effects, you need the music in the background. Action at its best. Well, it's not a bad game for its year, which is 1989, so uh, it's not too bad. Um, not the best up there, there's better, uh, better vertical scrolling shooters around at the time, like Battle Squadron or Sidewinder. Of course, later on with the likes of Banshee and stuff like that, but uh, not a bad game. Nice to champion a small uh, software house or developer. So there we go, intact. Uh, I'll play some music and uh, play the game. Thanks for watching. Right then, here we come. Here we are, puny little weapon to start with. Shoot the waves to release the, uh, the credits. Blue credit is uh, just worth one. Red credit as well for two, and there's another credit as well for, enough, for three. The more credits you got, the better the, uh, you can equip your ship. Just got that in time. Right, yeah, so um, 
graphically. I know it doesn't come out too well on the camera, but it's pretty good for 1999. Can't argue. Smooth, nice and smooth. Uh, right, here comes the um, power-up section. You see the orange means you can get them, and the blue you can't get them. So I've upgraded my cannon, and I've sped up, got a speed up as well. That we can do for now. Got one credit left, as you can see on the right hand side. There's other stuff as available as well, as I've probably already said to you, like extra lives, shields, side shot, uh, reverse shot. You can quit your ship quite well, you can get an orb that floats around the ship, it like, acts like a shield. As with any shooter, it's uh, important to try and take things out as soon as you can. much on screen does get very hard as ahead of this. So I'm up to six credits now so I should be able to equip my ship quite nicely uh, next time round. Let's get a side shot. This does come in very handy. Okay, this boss then makes quite a few appearances. And it's very important to take. Uh, let's be careful actually this bit because you've got nothing else firing as well. There we go. Took him out. He'll be back though. Don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. Um, what's the saying? Yeah. Take out, uh, stay in the middle basically of the boss, this first boss. Oh crap, I didn't even see what that was. Down to three ships already, so that's not too good, is it? Okay, another power up board, I've got eight credits, so let's uh, take the side shot. I think the other one might have been, I don't know, it's faster cannons or faster fire, I'm not sure. Am I? I'm not really keen on your uh, fire button in this game for some reason. Go for auto fire. I do like a side shot. Okay, <laughs> here comes the boss again. Ah, oh yeah, too close that time. Mm. 
never get rid of all of them. Okay. Oh, what can we have this time? This is the final uh, power up before the um, before the boss. I've got one extra life there, did I? I didn't actually look. Oh well, here we go. Right, I should get through this then. He says. <laughs> you can shoot the side cannons so they can't fire at you. Just aim for the middle though. It doesn't come right to the bottom. There we go. Not actually too difficult. Yeah, level one done. Oh, finger needle rest. Yeah, it's not a bad game. It's uh, say 1989, as I've already said. You can see it there on screen as well. Uh, not too bad. It's a software house you don't really haven't heard of, you know. Okay, more of the same then. Lots of uh, missile silos in this one. A lot more seems to want to fire at you as well, so. I doubt I'll last too long on this, so I haven't had it that long really, been playing it. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'll say it now, <laughs> in case I don't last much longer. And there it was. Uh, yeah. I always continue to start the level, but you can start with no weapons again, so I won't give it another go. So that's intact. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a long player this on the YouTube or not. Have a nose, if you want to see more of it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hall of Fame, made it there. Not a bad game. I'll uh, be back with another shooter soon. Thanks for watching.